going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support now we all know about the news that been out i've done videos on it uh madeline soto's body has been found and uh the mother's boyfriend stephen Stearns, has been charged with uh the crime of doing something to her now more details have came out that i didn't know about and i want to share it with you guys and i want to also show you something about what happened in court with this guy and how stupid he is this guy right here is scared to death and he's he you can tell he ain't never been locked up before because he's doing some st stuff only a rookie would try this guy don't want people to know his crime you know what i'm not even gonna tell you take a look at this video we're gonna come back listen to these new uh startling discoveries about what he did after he did what he did to madeline uh soto and how he tried to hide the evidence this guy looks stupid as hell look just one day after the body of 13 year old maddie soto was found the prime suspect in her disappearance was a no-show in court today. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Manny Martinez. Stefan Stearns waived his first appearance before a judge this morning. For the second time in just a span of a few days, he's now facing sexual battery and child pornography charges, but has not so far yet been charged in Maddie's death. Fox 35's Matt Trezza explains why more charges could be on the way. Stephen Stearns was a no-show for his first appearance in Osceola County Court. His lawyer didn't even want the judge reading out the charges. Stephen Stearns? Or Your, Honor, Stearns. Your Honor, at this time, I am going to waive Mr. Stearns' appearance. I'm also going to waive the reading of these charges. Mr. Stearns is aware of what he's been arrested for. At the first appearance, Stearns faced charges including sexual battery and possession of material depicting sexual performance by a child. Stearns had voluntarily handed his phone to investigators who managed to recover photos and videos that they called disturbing. Investigators say he's also the prime suspect in Maddie Soto's disappearance. Search teams finally recovered Maddie's body Friday evening after an exhaustive search through the woods in Osceola County. The judge said Stearns would stay behind bars. Understood, sir. You got zero bond and 24 CF 632. Good luck to you. Orange County deputies have turned over the case to Kissimmee Police. Sheriff John Mina says they have proof Stearns tried to cover his tracks after Maddie's death. We have video evidence that shows Stephen Stearns discarding items in a dumpster in that apartment complex in Kissimmee at 735 on Monday, February 26. Detectives later recovered Madeline's backpack and her school issued laptop from that dumpster. At 819, we have evidence that shows Stephen Stearns returning to the complex and Madeline was visible in that vehicle. We believe she was already dead at that time. Former Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone says Stearns may have thought he could fool investigators. This is a perfect example of someone who probably thought I can get away with this. And unfortunately, everything is pointing at the fact that he has now been caught for the murder of this child. Kissimmee police say at this time they aren't releasing any further updates on the case. In Kissimmee, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News. As you see, he waived his right to appear in court, right? He's scared. There are other inmates in there hearing what he has, what he's done, supposedly what he's done. And, uh, he don't want people to see or hear what he's in there for. Now, he in Osceola County Jail, they got to transfer him to Kissimmee Police. Now, he's not charged with the murder yet because Kissimmee's going to charge him with the murder. So he'll get transferred. And, they, you know, they say pending charges, usually you're getting transferred somewhere else and more charges going to get stacked. That's where he's going to get the capital murder charge if he gets the capital murder charge. Because they gave him, uh, what's the other charge? Capital sexual assault i've never heard i didn't know that was a capital offense like he's charged with that already but that's going to he's going to get the charge of capital murder too supposedly when he gets transferred back to Kissimmee. he don't want them people to know you know he know what he in there for he ain't got no bond inmates know when you ain't got no bond you ain't walking around with the paperwork they know you in there for something inmates are nosy they've been asking him he ain't saying nothing now, some of the people that's in his cell block or whatever way he's at is in the courtroom with him because, you know, it's a public event when they have all them 
Prisoners in there, they, they tell you what you're in there for. He don't want nobody to know. He looking out the window, judge immediately. I mean, the lawyer immediately. Uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, he knows why he's here. Uh, you don't have to say anything else. Uh, he's going to waive his, his his first appearance. He's going to waive his rights. He's, he's, he's not going to. You did it. You got on national TV and acted as if you was a concerned parent or guardian or, or loved one in the house missing a piece of the family puzzle. But you can't admit to what you did in court to a bunch of strangers that might bust your ass when you get back in uh, population. I don't think when people do stuff like that, they, they should have rights. Their rights should be stricken from them. I'd have said what he did right there. Now you scared? What about that little girl you killed? She was scared. Don't, under, don't, don't, don't understand it. Then he looking stupid. So smart, he's stupid. Discard evidence in the apartment uh, dumpster. Her backpack and her uh, school computer. I think the school computers have trackers on them or something. I think it'd be MacBooks or something. They can track where they had. I don't know why he would think that was a good idea. Because when it started, it's going to trace when it was put somewhere. She didn't put the book bag in there because he supposedly took it to school. So how the book bag go from her house magically to that dumpster if she was dropped off at school like you said. But then again, we found out you lying. This dude is insane, man. This, this is stupid. And it's like, you know, what's messed up is the mom, like I said, the mom lost two people that, you know, one person she was trusting and loving into and believing in him and lost a daughter who she was sworn to protect as a parent and thought she had somebody else that thought the same thing. Double disappointment. I mean, she must be going through hell right now. And rightly so, man. Rightly so. I mean, this is one of them things, man, where like all these different scenarios go through your head of what you could have done differently because you didn't even see this coming. This is the exact term of blindsided. It is. Man, this is like the ultimate betrayal. You out there with the search people searching, crying. This woman at night, when ain't no media around and stuff, she in the house losing it. And you there with her crying. Oh, there, there, and you the cause of it. How sick is that? How sick is that? This dude need to be filleted like a fish. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason, uh, Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I had three hours of sleep last night, guys. I had a big project today. That's why I'm uploading late. I hope you can bear with me. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.